Wir sind hier auf dem äh, Rock Arts Festival zusammen mit Jacke vom äh, Hammerkult. Uh, Jacke, uh, welcome to Germany and uh, the Rock Arts Festival. Uh, do you have a good time here and did you enjoy the gig? Certainly, we just had an amazing gig. You know, people think about it. We drove all the way here from Berlin. Before we arrived to Berlin, we had to take two flights all the way from Israel to Deutschland. Oh. Talk about no sleep to Rock Arts, but fuck it. It was worth it because when we came on stage, yeah. the crowd exploded, and that's what it's all about. So it's certainly, we had a great time. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty nice. Uh, you just released your new album, Steel Crushed. Uh, can you describe the development of the band uh, since your previous album? Well, oh, that's a good question. I don't like answering this one because I don't believe in really developing. I believe in, uh, you know, some sort of a natural progression within the band. I really don't like when a band fuck their fans over and they change their style yeah. overnight. In Hammercourt we will never do that. So from Infants of the Den, which is maybe one of the most aggressive trash metal albums in that period of time, we wanted to have something that's a little bit more punkish, but still aggressive on the same level that we had with Infants of the Damned. And lo and behold, we're talking about Steel Crusher, right? So this is what we're talking about. More punk attitude, but also a little bit more polished, but End of the line, still in your face. Let's don't talk about music stuff now. Uh, actually, in Israel, there are a lot of riots and very uh, unpeaceful shit going on there. Um, what do you think about that? That's a tragedy yeah. for both sides. What do I mean? You know what? I've been through in my lifetime for two wars. Right? Two wars, Second Lebanon War, 206, 91, yeah. Desert Storm. And you know what? Life is too short for both sides, you know, to just focus on that. And I believe that if I can comment on it, and I will try to be as objective as possible, because that's what it's all about. I cannot be uh, subjective about this one. I believe that there are many people on both sides, powerful people, people in very, very uh, high positions. Now I'm going to shoot you on this one. This is a shoot, right? There are many people out there in those positions which are holding power, both on the Israeli side and both on the Palestinian side. And I think that many of them don't want to finish the conflict. They don't want to end it because there is a lot of profit in war. And that's a very sad thing, you know. That's a very sad thing you got in the picture uh, of, of the situation. Sadly, you know what? This is this is a bombshell you just dropped. It's a good question. All metal aside, this is serious stuff. Life is too short, guys. There's no no piece of land is worth dying for. No piece of land is worth spilling your blood. I have friends who died which of course are from the Israeli side, and I'm sure there are many Palestinians who have, who have died and have friends that have died. Uh, I wish that one day all of us, not only Israelis and Palestinians, all of us, I wish that one day we can all just get along. Doesn't matter if it's Israel or Syria or Palestine, we got to stop it. We got to stop it for the future of our, our own mankind and for the future of our children, you know has to stop but you know as I said before many people on both sides strong people they have make a lot of profit about the whole conflict and there are also some ideology behind it and religion and I think that religion is one of the most it can be a very beautiful thing but it can be a very destructive force and uh, something that leads to very destructive behavior and you know what sadly currently in the Middle East it's leading to a very destructive behavior and that's something that had to change thank you very much for these uh, words um, that's my heart on my sleeve I don't have any sleeves but <laughs> that's my heart right here um, so uh, the last words are yours well I want to thank everyone for watching this interview anyone who see us on rock house you kicked ass it was an amazing show and hell tomorrow we are going to adverb for metal fest in Belgium it's gonna be great Either if you know Hammercode, if you haven't heard of us before, go ahead, 
Google us, check us out on YouTube. Even if you want to download the album, if you really like it, buy it. And I really hope to see you next time we're here performing in your town. Thank you, and Metal Rules.